Hey, I'm Stephanie Rubens. Welcome back to my channel. I am in my yard right now, which is all vegetable garden. Um, and uh, this right behind me is the window to my studio, which until about mm, half an hour ago was in full sun. And uh, it's a big old nope for me. It's too hot in there. I'm not staying in there. So uh, what I do have to do is I have to go to one of my favorite fabric stores and I have to get some trim for a kimono that I want to make. So we are going to Fabric Depot, which is like a locally owned mom and pop, like family run business. And it's been there forever and it, it shows, you'll see. It's pretty incredible. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? So this is Fabric Depot in Calgary. If you've never been here, your mind is about to be blown. Tons of pieces to go on like the necks of garments, trains, wedding dress trains, all the, all the applicators. I mean, seriously. Um, I'm gonna stop talking now and just put some music on because there's, there's just so much. There's literally so much. All right, so back in my costuming days, um, this was the room that I was in constantly. I mean, the trims, the sequins, the beads, the feathers, the fur, the everything. They have everything. One thing though, if you do ever shop here, uh, if you find something that you love, get a lot of it because the odds of you being able to come back and find it again if you need a little extra piece, um, it's, it's hard. I mean, I've done it, but it's hard. I have nothing to use that for. It's just cute. Pardon me while I continue to look at things that I have absolutely no need for right now.
literally every inch of this place is covered. Ooh, actually, this might be a contender. Hang on, let me, yeah, yeah, let me grab my fabric. All right, so this is the fabric that I'm trying to match and that actually would be super cute. Super cute. But, um, there's not enough of it. Ah, oh, that's heartbreaking. All right, let's mosey on upstairs and we'll check the rest of this place out. Um, there are a couple more trim rooms that I need to check out, but let me show you up here first. This is mostly like home decor, um, curtains and upholstery, that kind of thing. Um, but it's also where you find your broadcloth. Um, my children would literally lose their minds if I took all of these shears and just like made them dresses out of it. <laughs> this is interesting. I think I'm lost. All right. Heading back down the other staircase takes you right into the warehouse. And honestly, it's so jam packed and the aisles are so narrow that I just can't get far enough. Like I can't step back to get a good shot of anything. So I'm gonna not shoot in here so much because it's just too difficult. Coming back through the front, we've already seen some of this, and then into the other side of the store, which is more walls and walls of stuff. Back here we have this mix of like some lingerie laces and a lot of bra band type stuff, um, but they don't have any bra fittings, which is kind of weird. All 
All right, this is probably the room that I need. This is the room of fringe and bobble and and stuff. So hopefully they have something in here that's gonna work for me. So what I'm finding is everything is either like too pink or like too purple, which actually that looks okay on screen, but <laughs> it, it doesn't in real life. That is pretty cool, but that's like an extra long fringe and it's kind of pricey. So I'm gonna, ooh. Oh, this actually looks like a really nice match. Um, this is a fringe, so I would take that blue thread out to kind of release the fringe. Um, and I think it has a good weight to it. It would hold the garment on me, which is like the functional part of the trim is you actually need to add weight to the garment, but there's not enough. So this is kind of nice, but it's a little too curtainy for me. <laughs> I will keep looking. All right, we have two contenders. That one, which again, like it looks okay on camera, but um, in real life, it, it wasn't really doing it for me. Uh, but this navy is kind of nice. So I think I'm gonna go and find the cutting table and I'm gonna get a few meters of this navy and um, yeah, then I will be good to make this kimono. Don't worry, there's more stuff to show you on the way out. Okay, here I am back at home. I've got my goodies. I'm gonna go inside to the living room, which is the only place where I can hang out when it's air conditioned. <laughs> and I'm not sewing today. So I hope that you uh, love that place as much as I do. And if you're in Calgary, definitely go check them out. I'm not affiliated, traffic's noisy. I'm sorry, but yeah, that was it. That was my day, little field trip. Thanks for coming with me and I'll see you next week.